Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a round handle bag. This is a quick and easy project. It's made with cotton yarn and I've used these wooden handles. So I've used Bernat Handicrafter cotton in off-white for this pattern. It's 100% cotton. It's a worsted weight number four. And I've used the larger ball, but you can also use the small ball. So you need about 130 grams or 220 yards per bag. So if you use the small ball, you'll need three balls. If you purchase a larger ball, you will get multiple bags out of one ball. Now I have linked, you can purchase this yarn from Amazon. Also Walmart, the price is a little bit better on Amazon. So I've linked that. And I've also linked the small ball to Mary Maxim because you can get the small balls for a really good price from marymaxim.com or .ca. So I'm linking these as well. And the handles, that I've used you can purchase from Amazon and I've linked those as well. The sizing on the handles is 5.3 inches but I'll have all those links there for you and you can select the items that you prefer. You'll need a six millimeter crochet hook and I'm using a wooden hook from Mary Maxim and I'll link that in the description box. So how we're going to make the bag is we're going to start by crocheting around the ring and we're going to be doing 50 stitches and then you'll be crocheting out this pattern which is half double crochets worked between the stitches and then we're doing some chain spaces as well to give it a little bit of extra detail. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We need to do two sides to our bag. So we're going to crochet this side. And then once you have your two sides done, you can just seam it together really quick and easy. Probably the most tedious part is just crocheting around the ring, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So take your ring going to take your yarn and put a slip knot on your hook. You're then going to take your ring. You want to take your hook going through the center of the ring. You're going to come up. You're going to grab your yarn, pull it up, yarn over, and pull through two. Now this is going to be a little bit noisy. So I'm just going to bring this over just so it's not clanging on the table. Okay, so you're going to take your hook, you're going down through the center of the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over and work your single crochet. Okay, so you're working a single crochet. You're just having to work it all the way around this ring. And I want a total of 50 stitches. Now, if you find your loop loosens like that, you can always pull it back, tighten it back up and just keep going. I like to try to get that all my stitches are up here at the top. You can keep them loose for now. What I like to do once I've made the bag is you can push it all in nice and tight, but as you're crocheting it, just keep it nice and loose because we are gonna have to work back across this row. So you don't need to tighten it all up. So you can see, just go slow. It does take a little bit of time, but it's really not that hard. It's just a little tedious working around the ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and work up my 50 stitches. You can count them easily just by coming back and counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. You basically have two strands here for every stitch. So I have 14 strands across for seven stitches. So when you work 50 stitches, it's actually a hundred strands going across the ring. Okay. So I've worked my 50 stitches and you can see I haven't pushed them together too tight. 
because this will make the next row a little easier. We're going to chain one and turn, and then we're going to work single crochets through each stitch. So we're just working a single crochet and always with cotton, it can sometimes be a little stiffer to get through, but this hook does glide pretty well with the yarn. Okay, so you're just single crocheting one in each stitch, so 50 stitches in total. So I'm gonna work that all the way. Okay, so I'm coming up to my last stitch. You can see right here at the knot. Okay, and I like this as my right side, this first row of single crochet. It kind of gives this nice little loop right here. I just like the look of that. So this is going to be our right side of the bag. And then what you're going to do is chain two, turn your work, and we're going to half double crochet in every stitch across. So we're not counting the chain two as a stitch. We're going to go right into the first stitch, work a half double crochet, okay, and work these half double crochets across. Okay, so once you finish that row, we're going to chain two, turn our work, and now we're going to be crocheting our half double crochets between the stitches rather than in the stitch. So instead of going into the stitch, we're going to yarn over, we're going to go between the stitches. Yarn over, see the space between the stitches, that's what we're going through. So it makes it really fast because you're just pushing your hook down between the stitches. Okay, so it works up really fast. And this is what we're going to be working now before we do some of our detailing. Now you could continue and make it all in that stitch if you don't want to add the little bit of detail. So what we're going to do is not including our single crochet row. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five half double crochet rows. So we're on our second half double crochet row now. So I'm going to complete that I have five in total and then I'll meet you back up to show you how to do the spacing. Now I'm coming to the end of my row and I thought I just better cover this with you to make sure that you don't get confused. So I'm working between those two half doubles and then we're going between the last half double and the turning chain. Okay, so you should have 50 half double crochet stitches. So make sure to count that you are on track. You can chain two and then you're just going to continue doing the same thing. Between all of the stitches. Okay, so I'm going to continue with my five rows of half double crochet and then I'm going to meet you back up. Okay, so I've chained two and I'm going to show you how to do the spacing. We're going to work a half double crochet as usual between the first two stitches. Then we'll chain one. We're going to skip the, the next stitch or the next space and go into the next one. So really simple. We're just working a chain instead of working this half double. So chain one, skip this space, 
and go into the next space. Chain one, skip the next space, work into this space. Okay, so you're gonna continue that all the way across. Okay, so once you get all the way to the end, we're going to finish off with a half double crochet be between the last stitch and the turning chain. Chain two. And now we'll work a half double crochet between the first two stitches. And then in our chain one space, we're going to work two half double crochets. So we'll be working two half double crochets in every chain one space across. Okay, and then we'll put one half double crochet between the last two, chain two, and now it's going to be a repeat. So let's take a look at the one I've already done. We're going to do another five rows of half double crochet. So we're not counting this one that we just did. So six in total, five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to repeat this pattern again. So we're going to do our chain one, skip one, work our row of half double crochets doing two in the chain one spaces, and then five more half double crochet rows again. So six in total with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and five after that. So sort of this little section here is a little bit different but then we have five five and five and then this one starts with that single crochet row so that's the pattern and i want you to work that all up if you need to go back and refresh anything just rewind the video this is how it's going to end up looking so once i finished my second half of the bag we'll meet back up again and i'm going to show you how to join it when you're working this row it's just the same even though these are kind of a little bit more squished together you're just working half double crochets between every stitch you can always make sure that your stitch count is staying at 50. that doesn't change throughout the pattern okay so keep it at 50 stitches and continue working away Okay, so I finished my six, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of half double. I fastened off. Now you can weave in your tails now or just do them all at the end. So what you wanna do, I finished off on the wrong side and we want our right sides together. So here is the right side. Let's see again, sort of tell just by looking here. The right sides together so put a slip knot on your hook you're going to come down to the fifth row of half double crochet which is the sixth row including that first row of singles so we're going to go through go through over to the other side making sure you're joining into the same row and then you can slip stitch I'm gonna chain one just to make it a little easier. I'm gonna single crochet loosely in every row. So don't pull it too tight. You'll just wanna loosely single crochet this together. Okay, so this is all gonna be to the inside of the bag.
Now when I work across the bottom, you want to continue again with nice loose stitches because I'm going to crochet in every other. So I'm not going to go through every stitch, but I'm going to keep it nice and loose so that it's not going to pull to distort the bottom of the bag. The stitch is nice and loose and you can tell as you work across if you're pulling too tight. And if that's the case, you can always just work through every stitch. But this just makes it a little bit quicker. Keep your stitches loose. It's still going to join it up. I'm coming to the end and now we're going to work up the side again one stitch per row and you're going to come up to the same row that we did on the other side so once you get past this row with the gapping it will be the next row which is the fifth half double crochet row down from the top so we're just working a single crochet every row joining the bag together. Okay, so this is the last row. Finish slip stitching it there and fasten off. So now while the bag is still inside out, you can just go and weave in all of your tails. So let's just do a couple together. So you're just gonna take your yarn needle You're gonna weave one way. And then weave back in the opposite direction. So you'll want to do this for all of the tails. Get them out of the way. You can push it down so it hangs nicely. And this is how fast, quick, and easy it is to make a cute little handbag for the summer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Make sure to check the description box below this video for all the links. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you.